Okay, so now they're getting ready for the top five. So let's see for Miss Philippines 2024. Okay, Atisa Manolo, and she looks hot as fire in her evening gown. Okay, Miss Baguio, Terra Valencia. She looks great in her evening gown as well. They make it so dramatic. I love it. Kainta. Stacy Gabriel. Somebody got mad at me because I picked her, but I was right on that. Bullock, <gasps> Chelsea Manalo. <gasps> oh my God. I don't believe, she looks stunning. She has this white evening gown on, absolutely stunning. Here's the last one. Let's see, Lexi. Christy McGarry. Oh my God. I'm four for five. Lexi Brooks did not make the top five. She was my number six, if you remember correctly. She was my number six. Oh my goodness. Now that's that's a shocker. Not, not, not for me, but that's a shocker. Uh, I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I was sure, I was sure, I was sure Lexi Brooks would be able to skate by. I didn't, okay. I, I don't believe it. Now they're getting ready to do the question and answer. Absolutely amazing. All five are amazing. So I got four of the five. I, I didn't. Now, Christy McGarry, she was my number nine, I think, or seven. I can't remember. But she was in my top ten. So but she's stunning tonight. Uh, uh, Christy McGarry is absolutely stunning tonight. So, damn, kind of caught me by surprise on that one. So, like I said, now they're getting ready to do the, um, the question and answer. So, hey, you guys, let me know. Let me know what you think. And uh, I know there's going to be a lot of people upset about this one. So, damn. Okay. That's it. The top five, Batista Manalo, Tara Valencia. Um, Miss Kainta, Stacey Gabriel, Miss Bulacan, um, Chelsea Manalo, and uh, Tagi Christy McGarry. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, anyway, hey guys, that it is what it is. Well, how did your top five shape up to my top five? And, um, uh, the uh, Miss Philippines top five. So it, it is very interesting. A part of me was hoping, there's gonna be a lot of commentary, of course, about uh, Alexi Brooks not getting in. She was my number six, and um, Chelsea Manalo was my number five. So let me know what you think. I'm curious why you think she didn't make it in. That's gonna be all kind of conspiracy theories, of course, which I think is uh, gonna be funny. I'll probably watch a few so I can get a good laugh. But what I 
have said before is she is immensely talented and and so I don't you know I don't want to make it look like I'm bashing her um, by any stretch of the imagination I've said that it was tough um, a lot of people in my comments said that it would be tough for her to be the first black queen but she made it to the top 10 she didn't make it to the top five and I think simply because I don't think it has anything to do with color. So let me just start as a person, as a black dude here living in the States. I think the Philippines, they might actually be ready for a black queen. Um, Chelsea Manalo made it to the top five. But I think sometimes with the Philippines, still it's still a very conservative country, in my opinion. And when I say that... Some people were put off by the fact that she didn't look feminine enough. She was too athletic. I love the fact that she was she was athletic. Um, I was just not sure about how that would come across. So I received some bashing for it, and and I'm I'm okay with that. I again I will I will continue to um, to uh, reiterate. She is immensely immensely talented, immensely popular. Um, she is very smart. And so I hope she uses her platform to do those things that she wants to do. She definitely has another chance to be in a pageant. They may, she may even get one of the the other crowns. I don't know how how all of that works because that part of it is new um, to me with the other crowns. And so, but simply one, uh, while she was immensely popular, I don't think she was feminine enough. That's one. I don't really know about the short hair. I don't know if that if that plays into it, but Filip Filipinas are known for their long hair. And but you know even last year Michelle D, um, she had a little bit shorter hair, but she was absolutely phenomenal in every other way that you could not deny her that. And so while I think Michelle D was probably an anomaly. Um, I just don't think the Philippines, they were ready for a short haired queen again, you know, being two years in a row. They may have, you know, they might want to go with, because if you look at the top five, even Chelsea Manalo, she, um, she has long hair. Even though it's natural sometimes, they have done a wonderful job with her hair um, tonight. And um, so I, I, I can't really say anything about that. But... I was looking at the judges and the judges are still, you know, mostly um, middle aged men. And so they still want queens to look feminine. And I'm not sure. I don't know if they were turned off by the fact that she was androgynous. I don't think that probably played into it. I mentioned it a couple of times. I want to be fair. I, I mentioned it um, a couple of times that it was um, a bit of a turn off for me. That doesn't diminish who she is and what she stands for. I don't, I don't deny that, but in a beauty, in a beauty pageant, you know, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it might play a part because you spend most of your time not looking feminine. You look, you don't, you know, you want to look, you don't want to look male or female. You just want to be androgynous. You can go either way, but in a female competition, you have to spend so much time on the female side and she spent, you know, much of her time, um, you know, being androgynous. I don't know if that played into it, but if you look at the judges being, you know, men, uh, those, I think, I don't really think it matters if they're straight or gay, but I know if they're straight, get straight men, they still want the long hair and hell, I even think some of the, some of the gay, um, the gay, uh, I don't even know if, if the, any of the judges are gay. So let me just say that, but, but mostly gay guys, you know, they have the long hair, you know, they put on the wigs and stuff. And, um, I don't know if that played into it. I'm, and so I, I, I don't know, it can be any number of things, but it's probably a, a combination of the things that I have said. I'd love to know what, what you think, why, why she wasn't able to get in. Um, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes because I'm all the way here in the States. I don't, and um, I, do the, I do reaction videos for fun, you know, so I do have to work my regular job. So some of you may have some more insight 
than what I do. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. They, I'm looking right now, it's still live. Um, and so they're in a commercial break. So they haven't named the winner yet, but uh, they have just given their top five answers. The five, top five have done the Q and A. Um, and so, I, but again, let me just say, let me, let me know what you guys think about it. It is, is rather interesting. Even though I put her in my, at my number six, I was sure that I was wrong. Um, I was sure that I was wrong. And so, um, but I was sure that VVV would be in the top five. Well, Miss Toggy was in the top five. So I don't mind being wrong. It's, it's, it's okay. But I was almost positive that I was wrong on that one. So, uh, it, you know, if it, it'll be interesting to see what other people think. And uh, again, I've already received, you know, some unkind words because I express my opinion about Alexi. But I want to make sure that everybody knows I think she's I think she's an awesome young woman. She has a, a great future ahead of her. And so uh, maybe this is a slight disappointment. Learn from it and and, and then move on. So, um, hey, it's not over yet. I'm probably going to produce one more video and that's for the winner. So, um, but thank you guys for, for sticking around. And so, but seriously, let me know why you think that she was not in the top fives. And I don't want to hear, oh, she was robbed. Mm, that's, that's not, a, that's not an answer. You have to have something substantive. You've got to have something, you got to have a, 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 a real reason why you believe that she did not make it into the top five. I've already expressed mine. I'm kind of rambling a little bit because, uh, you know, I woke up early because <laughs> for the Philippines, it's night there. But for me, it was kind of early in the morning and I went to bed late. So so hopefully I'm not rambling uh, too much, uh, but I am having fun. I drank I drank some tea. I think I'm going to have to get me another glass of tea to uh, stay awake. So uh, anyway, I am having fun doing this. It's the first time I've watched and commented on the whole this whole process. And so it's been fun. So uh, stick around. I'll, I'll probably do one more video and reaction video. And uh, so, but seriously, engage with me in the comments. So uh, uh, keep watching and let me know what, what you guys think.